One, two, three, four. Yeah, go! Hey everyone, I'm Nano Elite 666 and you are watching me play Ziggurat. We are back once again because it is Friday. So that's what we do today. This Friday thing. Uh, our daily challenge today is to play Corvus the Vampire. I don't want to play Corvus the Vampire today, so we'll just play normal. Anyways, who should we try and play today? Who do we want to play today? Let's do... Let's play the witch. I seem to recall going, oh, you know what? She seems like she could be fun to play when I tried her out initially. So! You gotta remember what you do. Ah, uh, yes. Magic missile, swap weapons, status effect duration. Alright. Staff of Atlantis. This is a new one. Three projectiles with a high chance of freezing enemies. Okay. Shoot me, Mr. Cobalt. I was enjoying not being shot. Let's see what we get. Oh, one more perk. One more perk choice is uh, excellent. Less excellent is me just sitting there and getting shot. I do believe that carrot was being invisible. Also, that monster is not dead. <laughs> Whoops. I'm sitting here thinking, hmm, why is this monster still here? Oh, because I haven't actually killed it yet. All right. This room is annoying to navigate. There's fucking stairways everywhere. I can't jump over that fence. Like it's gonna be Sir Arthur's room. No hidden walls. pick up all this experience before it all disappears on me. I may have murdered every carrot in the broom, but I actually need to loot their corpses. Otherwise, all the murder was for nothing! Hello, boss key.
You know, the magic missile isn't isn't worth very much if it just flies right into a wall. Let's see. Ooh, man of steel, you say. Ooh. Or torture two. Hmm. Ammo recovery. steel is always good scavenger increase enemy drop rate works for me more stuff is always nice all right That's right. You just stay frozen there, buddy. Allow me to shoot murder you to death indiscriminately. Suck on that hazard room. Ooh, amulets. Sage amulets. Spell attack rate double. And a spell book. The Skull of Xanatos. Works for me. I think I know what I'm going to be throwing at uh, the boss. A bunch of murder skulls. Eternal pity. Alright, it's boss time. Is that, as they say, is that. Hello, Sir Arthur. Let us fight. Let's not get hung up on the uh, on the scenery. Ouch! Excuse me, flying murder skull. When I throw you at the giant boss monster, you're supposed to actually fly at the giant boss monster. All right. Let's do torture too, since I have stuns and freezes in my loadout. That will help. Alrighty. What is this? 
Oh yeah, Asheron's cube. This cube bounces around the room, shocking all enemies in its path. Very huggable. Well, let's go throw it at someone. Like that guy. Ah, interesting. Interesting. Could be another case of. Let's just throw this into a mob of people, and it's gonna just damage the shit out of them all as it flies by. I can get behind that. I could totally get behind that. Well, it's Queen Amanda. You see no secret walls. Those are axes flying right by my head face. Let's see. Um, shit. Many of Graham's jet grant more, but less health from potions. I don't know. We'll go with stockpile. I will take that. Thank you. Alrighty. Well. wall. Telekinetic. Okay. It was free, so whatever. Fancy murder death cube. It just bounces around and said, Here, have some electric death. Scavenge. Effectiveness? Sure, we'll take that. Go 
Go, Murder Death Cube! Bounce for great justice! spend any of those right now. Okay. Which side is it going to be? I'm going to go this side. And yeah, uh, it was this side. <gasps> Excuse me, there's a the stairwell. Another amulet. Alchemy attack rate. Bloodlust needles. Those are new. You'll seek the most deadly pressure points on your foes. A. Eh? Yeah, we'll give him a shot. Although... I'll take the alchemy amulet. See how that does for me. There's a lot of shit on the floor there. So they seem to poison people on their alt fire, plus their homing missiles. I like these. Okay, well, I think it's boss time, ladies and gentlemen. We are out of floor to explore. Let's go murder us a banshee queen. For her being a forgotten soul, I run into her a lot. I haven't really forgotten about her. I have, however, murdered the shit out of her. Death Pact. Uh, lose health, get two more perks? Sure, we'll do that. Let's see. Potions give more health. Yeah, we'll do that. And mana gems can fill other pools. Yeah, we'll do that. Get all my ammo filling everything.
All right, third floor, here we go. What do we get? Oh, the grenade. Sorry, grenade. Oh, those hurt me! Note to self, don't run into your own uh, murder cubes, ladies and gentlemen. I should know this because I have frequently injured myself in the past with my own explosive weapons. But, you know... Just had to, you know... Yep, you go bouncing. Oh, we got a fucking shaman in here. He poisoned you, bastard. Shockwave each time on hit. Hmm. Or longer status effects. I am playing with poison now, so longer poison time is never a bad thing. So many carrots there. Okay, that worked. <laughs> I love it. Uh, secret walls? No. There's a secret wall. Dodging and sliding around, Mr. Blob. Alright, what's our free perk today? Another rank of scavenger, okie dokie. God, I murdered so many carrots in this room. Hello, old gods. What do you want? Staff mana? Yeah, I'll give that up. Cool. Health potion. Health obtained in drops is increased. 
How much health you want? 22 health? Yeah, I can give you 22 health. What did that say? Uh, it's not an actual thing. I think it said something about... Something about I recover mana when hit. But I also maybe spend more in my next fight? I didn't read it, pay attention to it well enough. I was more focused on the fact that it said, Oh, divine indifference! The gods care not that you just gave up some of your, your very well-being. Ooh, it's a spread fire staff. Yeah, we'll take this one. I don't know, though. The freeze is nice. Freeze doesn't work on bosses, but the freeze is nice. Oh, you know what? Yep, just bats around all the obelisks. my bouncing murder cube why aren't you dead little slimy boy all right let's see sprint in any direction oh I'm a player that for sure Omnidirectional sprint. My gentlemen, I am just, you know, passing by. Have some, have some murder death cubes. Psst. Psst. Oh, come on. Take out the obelisk. There we go. Yeah. do enjoy the murder cubes. Look at me, I'm sprinting backwards! Oh, there's an invisible asshole here. Well, that'll be useful. That way I can backpedal so much and not have to worry about getting murdered. Oh, that was like a shitload of carrots in my face. How practical backs 
being able to sprint in any direction is, I have yet to determine, because I'm not necessarily good. Or be used to being able to sprint backwards in games. <laughs> usually, usually sprinting is limited to the forward motion. around, get murdered. I need... There we go. Oh, more experience from gems? Yep, that's an instant take. thing to go check. And it's probably the boss room, because that's like the only thing I haven't found yet. Oh no, two more things to go check. I walk through a barrel of shit. I am out of focus in my camera. Not out of focus, out of center. was, oh, this is a nice confined room. I'll just throw things and let them bounce around. Bounce around all the fucking corners and shit. And then I keep running running into my own explosives! Whoops. Alright, whose boss is this? This is Percival's boss room, I think. No, this is Regulus. I'm 
yourself. What are you stuck on? I just have to know. He died. Just have to pay attention to the fact that when I fire, I stop sprinting. Oh. Well, I'm not going to consume my current weapons, that's for sure. And I don't need to fill my health, so we get increased enemy drop rate. Here we go. What are you? The flame mortar. You're new. Creates a deadly wall of fire, very short range. Well, we'll play with it and see what it does, but uh, if I don't like it, we're coming back for the. It's a firewall launcher. Coming through. Why won't you die, buddy? I don't know. I don't know what to think of the firewall mortar. I don't know what to think about it. You know, the true test of power is going to be flatulency, toxic enemies. Now everyone's leaving toxic fart clouds. Oh, this may get me killed. Shit, yep. Gentlemen, that's gonna wrap it up for this part. Volatile. The drops gives much more health, mana, and experience, but they disappear faster. Heretic. New staff will appear in your hands, channeling amulets recharge faster. Whirlwind of Ulthar. Magic whirlwinds that hovers above the ground, piercing through enemies. Amulet of magnetism. Instantly gets all the drops in the room. Anyways, ladies and gentlemen, that's gonna wrap it up for this part because, well, it's time to do that, and I died. So you know that's how it works out. 
So, once again, I thank you all for watching. I hope you've been enjoying. As always, if you have any suggestions or recommendations for games that you think I should play that might make for a good series, excuse me, like this at some point in the future, or if you just wish to give me a shout, give me some feedback, let me know how I'm doing about good, am I doing bad, if I'm doing bad, what can I do to go from doing bad to doing good? Or if you just wish to inform me that I am a terrible person because, well, I probably should have stuck with my bouncing murder cubes and then I wouldn't have gotten killed as badly as I did in that last room there. May inform me of such in the comment box below. PC, PS4, and Switch for recording suggestions, as that is all that I can currently record on right now. And as always, if you enjoy this video and want to see more like it, then please subscribe to the channel. That way you'll be kept up to date whenever I post up new videos, and then you won't ever have to miss out on any of the shenanigans that go down in this my little corner of the internet. Also, if you know of anyone else who might enjoy watching this sort of thing, please share this video or one of my other videos with them. Point them in my general direction so maybe they might potentially swing by and be amused by the shenanigans that go down in this my little corner of the internet. Also, you should follow me on Twitter at NanoWilly666. So I'll be using that to make news updates and announcements and such regarding the channel whenever the need should arise in the future. Anyways, ladies and gentlemen, once again, I thank you all for watching. I hope you have been enjoying. I am NanoElite666, and I will see you all next time.